Welcome to the Blue Valley North Library website. Today we're going to show you how to work and use Prezi. So we're going to start by opening the internet. We're going to go to www.prezi.com. That's P-R-E-Z-I dot com. When you get to Prezi, you'll have to make an account. You'll do that by clicking Sign Up in the top right. You're going to get a public account, of course, because that's free. So you'll click on Get. And then you'll enter in your information. Now, this is an account that you'll just keep track of, so you'll need to make sure you always remember your username and password. You're going to put in your first name. You're going to put in your last initial only. Then you'll enter your school email account. You're going to use your email account as your username. That's what they, what they do with Prezi. And then you'll use your password. And then you'll check the box and register and continue. I already have a Prezi account, so I'm just going to go back and log in, which you'll do once you've established your account. So after you've entered all of your information and logged in, you'll see that it's pretty easy to create the actual Prezi, but it takes a little bit of practice to make a Prezi. So I'm going to click on New Prezi, and you're going to title it. And then you'll make a quick description. This presentation is my digital photo album from my trip to London. Now, I didn't actually go to London, just like you guys are not actually going on your trip. So you'll enter that information. And then Prezi will give you some options. Basically, Prezi is a presentation tool, much like PowerPoint. And what you do is you kind of make slides only. With Prezi, you've kind of got a big canvas, and you just tell it what areas of the canvas to jump to, and that's kind of like your PowerPoint presentation. You can use one of these templates if you want to. When I was messing around, I actually figured out that it's much easier to just make a blank one. Um, but if some of these you know, fit your, your topic, then feel free. I'm going to choose blank, and I'm going to choose Start Editing. Now that I've done this, it kind of gives you a little tutorial. I would definitely go through this tutorial when you first start. I have already done this tutorial, so I'm not going to take you through it right now. So I'm just going to close out of it, and you'll be able to do that on your own. Basically, all you're going to do then is click anywhere and add an idea. Basically, what you're going to do is kind of like making a, a word cloud or kind of like making a, um, like a, a cluster graphic organizer. And I'm going to double click and I'm going to type my title. Ooh, I'll get rid of all that stuff first. Traveling to London. Now you're going to be much more creative than I'm being right now, but for the sake of doing this quickly. And then I can move it around. If you click on it one time, it gives you the option to rotate it like this. You can move it around and you really want it to be in the center. You're what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on Insert, and I'm going to look for some pictures. One thing that's really great about Prezi is it allows you to search from the web pictures that have already been licensed for use in Prezi, which makes your citing so much easier. In fact, you don't have to cite those things. So I'm going to type in London, and I'm going to search through some of the pictures. You have to actually mouse over these to scroll through them. So I'm going to find a picture that looks great from London, something that it looks like I would have actually taken. I'm going to go back up to this one. I think that's a great picture. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to say OK. And it's going to put that picture into my project. Once it's done processing the image, I can move it around just by clicking and dragging. I can rotate it. I can make it bigger or smaller. You can also add some text. So I'm going to slide it over here. If you click one time, it gives you kind of this dial so you can make it bigger or smaller. I'm going to make it rotate it a little bit. And what you can also do is you can add some text. You can edit it by clicking here. Now that I've got my picture like this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a frame. And I'm going to choose a frame like, like this. So when I put that in, I click on it. And I'm going to draw my frame. And I'm going to put my picture over it so it's kind of framed in in that picture. If I want to add some more, I have to actually go back to my control panel up here. So see how I'm going to click on this little arrow. It's going to give me my options again. I'm going to click Insert, Image, and I'm going to type London again. 
and I'm going to search for a different picture. So this time I'll choose this one. I really like it. It looks like a picture that I could have taken myself. And I'm going to put it where I want it. Maybe I'll click one time, make it a little smaller. I'm going to rotate it a little bit. And now I'm going to find another picture. I'm going to type in London. And some of you will have an easier time using what's actually already in Prezi than others. So after I get this picture in there, I'll put it where I want. I can always move these things around later. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to search in Morg File. Morg File is a great website that allows you to use pictures that professional photographers have taken and their license is really really great. It allows you to just cite all of your pictures as one. So I'm going to search London here and once these pictures come up I'm going to save them to my folder just by right clicking and choosing save as. So this looks like something that I would take. So I'm going to save picture as. I'm going to put it in the same folder I have for all the rest of my stuff. For me it's just my desktop. You guys will have a picture in your network folder and I'm just going to call it Double Decker Bus. And I'm going to save that and now what I can do in Prezi is I can insert my image and I'm going to select the file and I'm going to go to my Double Decker Bus and open it and it's going to bring in that picture. It doesn't look great this big so I'm going to click on it and make it smaller and even though it's small it still counts as a picture in my presentation. So I'll keep working this way until I have eight pictures. Once I have eight pictures I'm going to have to make sure that I make a works cited page. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get the citations from the articles that I use for my information. You guys will have already done this. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going back to find the articles where my information came from. I'm searching London. Okay, I used this article right here. So what I'm just going to do is grab my citation by clicking over here on the right, Citation Tools. I'm going to choose MLA since we're in a language class. Choose Save open and I'm going to copy this citation. This will help me cite my information. Then what I'm going to do is go and open PowerPoint. The thing that's great about PowerPoint, and you may not have known this, is it allows you to save a slide as a picture. So I'm basically going to make a picture of my website, of my works cited page. So the easiest way to do this really, once I get my PowerPoint to open, is to do a new slide because this is a really great format and I'm going to type in works cited and the very first thing I'm going to add is that citation that I just copied for my information. Now you might have more than one source for your information. I only have one for mine so it'll just be ha have to be something that you either have more than one citation for your information or you just have one. It just depends where your information came from. Now I'm going to cite my pictures. Most of my pictures just came from Prezi, so I don't have to worry about that. If you have images from Morg file, all you have to say is some images from www.morgfile.com. That's it. Even if I have five pictures from Morg file or seven or eight pictures from Morg file, all, that's all I have to say. If I got my pictures from Creative Commons, I would have to add the sentence that's the licensing agreement, which is on the Webliography, and you'd have to cite each picture individually. So just check back on the Webliography for how to do that. I'm going to make this look a little bit nicer. I'm going to make my background a different color. Let's say I make it, oh, I kind of like this orange color. There we go. That looks a little better. And now what I'm going to do if I have all my information in my works cited slide is I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I'm going to save this not as a presentation. I'm going to put it in the same folder as everything else. I'm going to call it Works Cited. And see how this says Save As Type PowerPoint Presentation? I'm going to change that to say JPEG. So basically I'm saving my PowerPoint slide as a JPEG. I'm going to say save. It's going to ask me if this means every slide or just the current slide and really I only have this one slide so I'll say current slide only. And now I'm done with that. So if I go back to Prezi, 
I can insert an image from my computer and go find my Works Cited slide, and there it is. So I know that my sources are cited. Now that I've got all my pictures, which obviously I don't have all my pictures, you guys will have eight pictures at least plus your Works Cited slide, I am going to make the path, and this is the order that my presentation is going to travel in. So I'm going to start with traveling to London, then I'm going to go and talk about the Tower Bridge, then I'm going to go talk about Parliament, then maybe I'm going to talk about, I think they call it the Eye of London, and then I'll talk about my double-decker bus, and then I will talk about Works Cited. So now if I watch my show, as I click through, it zooms in on my first thing, then it takes me to my second thing, it takes me to my third thing, so I can talk about each of these things in the order during my oral presentation. And I can finish by having my work cited. I can end my show. So the last step in working with your Prezi, and you're welcome to play around with other things in here. There's some shapes and arrows and all kinds of animation that you could have. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. You can exit, and when you do, you'll see it saves your presentation. And you could do this at any time if you need to log out and come back and work on it later. And then, all you have to do to turn your Prezi in is click on Share. You're going to copy this link, and you're going to email it. And actually, you don't have to copy the link. You can. I'm going to click on the email, and I'm going to send it to bvnlibrary at gmail.com. And then in the personal note, you're going to say your name. You're going to say your topic. And you're going to say your teacher's name. OK? Once you're done with that, you'll send the email. And you have officially turned in your presentation. We will post all the prezies to one place on the library website so that they're ready for you to do your oral presentations on. Good luck. Thanks for watching.